You see those trees that I unveiled? The other two don't notice, but it, over there, it looks like a clever screen has been set up and trees are painted on it. You notice it because you're not <laughs> gaping at the whirlpool. Uh, it looks as though, um, yeah. Which, tree, which you, one looks? The ones in the top? Uh, the upper uh, left of the map. Uh, right, I see, yeah, yeah. Yes, there you go. I love that little circle thing. I don't know how. To, how do you do the little circle thing? Um, you just hold down the left mouse button. It'll only go off if you're on the the pointer in the tools in the top left. Ah. I think. Lovely. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Shift and do it. It'll center everyone to that spot. Okay. Oh so. Uh, over there, it looks like uh, fake trees and stuff, and uh, I'm not going to ask for a listen roll because the fucking giant whirlpool and the rain and stuff <laughs> is still making a lot of noise. Hmm. So, you guys see that over there. Or he sees that over there. Hmm. Sorry. Can we uh, go and check that out? Can we stealth up? Sure. Uh, Alex goes... <laughs> <laughs> What are you guys doing? Uh, yeah. He's I'm a ninja. Oh yeah. It's all up to Sheila. If she makes it, everything's fine. If she fails it, everybody fails it. Oh cool, we're doing this? I make Apparently. it. Apparently. <laughs> right. You guys sneak over there and it, the boards are not so close together that you can't see through. It looks like it was built more hastily and stuff. And on the other side of this screen, you see a bunch of different people working on what appears to be a large dirigible of some sort. Uh, the name on the side says the Alex Kinley 2. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> <laughs> but there's something wrong. Their dirigible has stuff in it. It has uh, gas of some sort in it. You have no idea how that happens. And there's also people you don't recognize from your old crew here, Alex. How did that happen? <laughs> there's, there's people I don't recognize. They recruit new people. You're not sure. You don't. The people aren't from Burlington, so you're not sure what the actual fuck is going on. What about the, um, oh God, who is it? Uh, I like it. I forgot about them. They've been here for ages. <laughs> this just fucking lets you guys know that if you ever move out of his awareness, you might be <laughs> fucked. Very Peter Pan. Uh -huh. Is Mr. Pickles well. uh, You do not see Mr. Pickles currently. That would require another Sandy roll from Scott, so you're sure he'll be on the ship. <laughs> Let's go the ship. <laughs> no. <laughs> Scott, it just shows brains coming out of it one ear. He's like, ah, 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 I hate this. Yeah, one. Come the crew. <laughs> I forgot about them. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Right, you, you, there, there is like a, a way around it and stuff. Pretty much, it, it appears that the screen is to screen off the town and part of and the boat parking area from this area. Like to hide this area or uh -huh. okay or the yep. other way. <laughs> I don't know no, no, it, it, it's made so if you're in town or playing around in the water you won't see them, but if you if you come in from a different angle then you can walk. So basically you just walk around the fence. You can do that. So, uh, Alex, you said that everything resets <laughs> everything. each night? Uh, yes. Yeah. So how is. could this have changed? In our case, it's not kind of it, the town resets, but not like, like we are from different like dimensions, so we don't reset. It's not Groundhog Day as such. It's not, yeah, it's Groundhog Day as in we're Bill Murray, the town is the town. So the citizens of the town don't have any recollection no. of previous days. It's kind of diff well, yeah. It's kind of weird. Like you could go in to the hardware shop, you could ransack it and take everything, 
and then the next day it'll be like fully stocked. However, if you went in and killed the the guy who's running the hardware shop, it will probably just be a different person in there the next day. It, he won't come back. The bodies get dumped through a black hole in the sheriff's office. Oh dear. Yeah. But if you ransack the hardware shop the next day, he's unaware it was you that. Yeah, he won't. He won't be like. He won't be like. Hey, you guys, you came in here yesterday. There was no yesterday. So you'll go in and go. Hey, how can I help you? And I'm like, I'm gonna ransack your shit again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sheila, take a card for asking clever questions. Yes. Uh, and also, it's just this is a, uh, a quick filling. So there's the, the sheriff and his guards, or uh, his, his deputies. Uh, basically, sheriff office one side of the street, banks on the other. The bank vault is basically a big gate to the cyberpunk zone. But to get into the bank vault is very hard because you're going to get shot. You get shot by the if unless you do something really clever, but basically it's much easier to use Clem. Now you know where you're going to. When we didn't know where we were going to, we had to use the gates. Um, but if all else fails, you know that basically there's a gate there to the cyberpunk area, and if you go down the main street off of the main street. So if you go down Elm Street and you go down to the big house at the very end, that's basically like, it's either like a really old guy or not unoccupied. I think it's an old guy. But basically, he's just like, hey, you kids. And you just ignore him and walk past him. If you go into the back garden, basically there's a bomb shelter there. If you go down into the bomb shelter, there's basically this big maze, of, not maze, but it's like you've got to go over some horrible bloody walkway and a road bridge or some crap like that and it's all death defying and it's dark and it's cold and then you come out from there you'll come out into basically a really nasty wild west zone that she will probably like because it's run by women um so i don't know i'm i'm more of uh, nice people ruling rather than oh. specific genders. Oh. <laughs> like good rulers in general. Yeah. No, not good rulers. <laughs> Bloodthirsty <laughs> women who are trying to kill everyone that's not a woman. Yeah, that uh, seems like more of a lateral move. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not a very fun zone to go to. But if you do go there and then you go to the other side of the zone, you can find a cave that will take you to the smurf zone. I heard yep. terrible things about you, that zone. It's terrible. It's terrible, terrible thing. Oh, makes me shudder. Sorry. I'm just imagining some of the terrible things that not only have been done there, but the PCs brought on themselves. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, there's uh, the highlights of this zone, as far as I can remember, is... Uh, the TV uh, demons, the demon shop. Oh, don't forget about the whirlpool because I remind you of that only because you can look over and see it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the whirlpool. That's another game. That goes to basically like a fantasy world. That's kind of a computer VR game. So there are people still probably trauma. They're probably all dead by now, but. There was a really nasty thing we had to try and take care of in the. Um, uh, cyberpunk world that was just kind of beyond us at the time, uh, but it was time sensitive. So there's all these cryopods in the cyberpunk zone that have real people in them who are plugged into the, this VR game. That basically that's where the whirlpool leads to, or at least of their world. So there is stuff there we could go do as well. Huh. So, yeah, I don't think you. I don't think you'll have time for that no, today. But saying, yes, in the future, yes, yes. yes. Um, so there's that to take uh, take to note. Um, demon shop, the TV demon shop. The weird stuff that went on there. A guy's face would appear, and he would taunt other PCs. I would never be inside, so he never taunted me. Huh. Um, let's have a look. 
Oh, yeah, the root beer place. There's a pinball machine in there. You might want to go and play on that. Mm. You get like a little surprise if you do good, but I don't think it will last long. The Overton, <laughs> the Overton, the Overton is good. You need to send off those uh, the tops for the Overton. But you're going to get this coda rings back. Uh, they're very basically minor, minor magic items. Uh, but it means that if you get one of the uh, magic items go buy by cards, you can just get rid of one of those. Uh. Um, the the fastest you like if you were to go to uh, where you had all of your Ovaltine boxes sent to Alex, and then uh, get those, and I don't know why you had them sent over there, and then bring them over to the post office, and then sleep here tonight. Then tomorrow you should have your old team ring if it works like it did the other hundred and forty three times. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so are you are you gonna ignore the people all behind the screen and go back and get your old team ring? I will get that set up and then we're gonna go back onto the boat. Okay. Great. Uh, he takes you back over to uh, the bed and breakfast, which appears to be a nice two story affair. And they, they uh, greet Alex by name. They're like, hello, Mr. Kinley. How are you? I'm good, thank you very much. And who are these nice people? These are my friends. <laughs> hello, my. Hello, friends. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes, it's uh, Eugene and Dennis Cook they introduced themselves as. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a It's a nice older couple and stuff. And uh, uh, Doris says, oh, Mr. Kinley, you had a package arrive for you. It's up in your room. What? Yes. Oh. All right. That's my room. Right. You guys go on upstairs uh, and look in the room, and there's a big package of brown paper wrapped in string on his bed. Oh, yeah. yeah. He looks astonished that the thing he said to bring here <laughs> has arrived here. That was quick. Do you want me to just walk you through what you're doing with it now, Matt? Right. You, he then grabs the package. You guys walk all the way across town, or you can take the shortcut, Matt, and see if you can make uh, uh, Glenn lose it. Nope. He's really close to snapping as it is. Uh, I'm not going to be mean. All right. So they walk you all the way across town, and you guys arrive back over at the post office. And then he goes into the post office, and the guy's like, hello, you don't, you don't have any packages today. Maybe we'd like to send one. Very good. Would you, uh, yes. Uh, he gives you stuff to fill out and stuff, and he says, I'll just have the charge uh, built to your uh, bed and breakfast. Yeah, great. All right. And he basically sends off three different uh, packages of five box tops each to uh, the Oval Team thing with each of your different names on it. Cause it's a limit of five per uh, customer. And then he says, there you go. All done. Thank you. He puts them through the slot in the wall. I light up a cigarette. He doesn't <laughs> seem to notice. It's the 1950s. It shows a, a lady giving birth and the doctor smoking. And as soon as the kid comes into the world, he's giving a cigarette. There you go, kid. Welcome to Earth. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> the mother's smoking while giving birth and pushing. I mean, it's 1950s. Everybody smoked. So... Um, yeah, then where would you like to go back to the boat? You said, Yeah, he uh, if we're his... walking by that pretty cow, I'd like to go see it. Oh, you mean the moo cow? I used to work there. Uh, by, by the way, I'm the milkman of the stuff, <laughs> they might not have really? much milk. Yeah, they... yeah, I, I was going I... to ask on how they remembered you. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we kind of uh accidentally killed the old milkman. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> As it just keeps spiraling worse and worse. Huh. So if people call me Albert, don't be surprised. <laughs> no problem. Uh you you get there and um right, there's there's the milk van in the uh garage and then you go on up the stairs and then the, the guy lives over well Alex apparently lives over the uh, uh garage. And there's various uniforms and stuff like that there. Um, 
Let's see. A weird thing. Uh, there's a lot of dirty laundry and stuff. Uh, give me spot hidden rolls. Make it by 30. This is pretty subtle. Made it. Okay. You know, Made you know it. how you can always tell whether a guy or a girl has worn a shirt in the past, right? You know, because it, it now folds differently and stuff, especially if there's a fairly tight fit on one, not the other, if you follow me. At one time, apparently, Alex had breasts, or somebody else was wearing the shirt. You're not really sure. That was Mildred. Ah. Huh. Mildred was also uh, uh, Alba. You have a lady friend. Are you haven't met her yet. Mildred that's, was also Albert. That, that's probably a good thing you haven't met her yet. You think I'm crazy? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, she uh, we 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 accidentally killed. Uh, Albert, um, and then we took over Albert, and basically everyone saw us as Albert in the town. It's a very weird town. Very yeah. weird, weird town. Weird, weird town. So there's no cows? <laughs> You're where wondering where the, the milk comes from. from. Yeah. Where does the milk come from? It's what? kind of crazy. Uh, there's a lot of unanswered questions today. The milk just appears. Like I said, when the day, day resets, the milk just appears. Do you do you want to have everybody sleep here and wake them up before it's time for the milk to appear so they can all watch it appear? I don't think it's going to be a good thing. Glenn's not doing too well. I think that'd be awesome, actually. Glenn would love to watch milk randomly appearing from nowhere. <sighs> Sounds freaky. Shows Glenn sitting there itch, itching the fucking spiders that live under his skin. <laughs> I'm saving that for when we get to um, the boat. Oh my god, yes. So, uh, right. Okay, and after after describing his various murder sprees that he's been on, and walks you guys back to uh, the, the wall, he goes around it, and everybody just stands there and stares at him. And then you hear, what's going on? Mr. Pickles! Mr. Pickles! It's Alex Kinley! What? Oh what? And a fucking dog that's about three feet high pushes his way through the crowd. Everybody give me a sandy roll unless you've maxed out Mr. Pickles. No way. Right, this Glenn as his mind slowly turns. Hey, I made that one. Yay! Yeah. One point toward Mr. Pickles. He maxes it, uh, I think, eight, because he's a D4 if you fail it. Mr. Pickles, he comes out. He's he's dressed in steampunk-type stuff. He's got, like, the goggles. He's got, like, uh, you know, it's a, and he's adorable. He's like a terrier, I believe, so he's fucking adorable. You just want to fucking hug him. This is what... Uh, Sheila has always believed that these fucking uh, furry yeah, should yeah. look like is little adorable. He's got little human fingers and stuff. He's got a little tool belt, and he you can just eat him <laughs> up. And he comes out and he goes, ah, and he begins doing a slow motion run, ah, running across <laughs> a field toward Alex. <laughs> And give me a grapple roll to do a cool hug as opposed to the awkward we kind of missed and yeah. you know you knock him over, maybe step on his head as you run by. No, you made it. Okay, great. <laughs> no problem. You you guys he leaps up in your arms and you guys have the emotional hug and and somebody else is wiping away tears, and then everybody goes over. And they're like, our savior, Alex, Alex. And they're pretty much passing him around like a doobie at this point, hugging the shit out of him. <laughs> we finally, finally got the message you had been trying to tell us all that time, and we didn't want to listen, but then we did, and now we know. And it saved us, Alex. It saved us. What's that, then? <laughs> that we had to we had to unplug one way or the yes. other. And yes. so we've been using this airship. And even though we lost our core stats and our character classes and stuff, we have done this because you were right. We, we were not plug. that's right. We were not adventurers, we were refugees. And when we realized that, 
life was easier. Of course, now we kind of suck at combat and we can use some more saving. But other than that, we can work on that. Hooray, they say. We've been making runs back and forth and getting people up and stuff. This is, this is you know, we, we uh, already finished all that. And people then start getting pregnant and stuff. And, you know, the kids grow really fast. This one wasn't even born. He uh, motions toward a 20-year-old. Do I? Yeah. A while. Too long. Too long. Too long. But, yeah, they're delighted to see you. And Mr. Pickles is unfortunately a bit overly excited as he's got hold of your leg. <laughs> he tries a willpower roll to stop what he's started. He really wants to make this. It's very embarrassing. I'm afraid not. <laughs> a part of Mr. Pickles will go home with you, I'm afraid. Uh, it really has. He, he starts crying afterward. He's like, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. <laughs> It's okay. So, yeah, after watching a sentient steampunk dog hump your buddy's leg, uh, yeah, there's not a lot else that's going to shock you here, you hope. Um, <laughs> they invite you, of course, to, to stay on the, the boat. Uh, the, the captain is delighted to give up her cabin for you. Oh, no, no. You stay Oh, yeah. Well, we, we've also managed to, uh, some of the people like to hear better because there's no monsters and stuff, so they've begun infiltrating the town. It shows, like, some guy go, hi! <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> Where the guy puts on his clothes. <laughs> Happy Friday, he says to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of place. So, uh... um, yeah, they, 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 you, you end up staying there till long into the wee hours of the night and because uh, they have alcohol and uh, everybody wants to fucking talk to Alex and his friends and stuff. And for some reason, they all want to touch Alex at some point. It's like, yeah, I, I didn't touch him. Yeah, I touched Alex. Yeah, just fuck off. Fuck off. Mr. Pickle's like, I touched him too much. <laughs> and he's still depressed. About but, you know, after he's had about a drink or two, he's forgotten about that he's like we should do that more often you know he's oh. anyway um so yeah everybody's delighted and eventually you guys are uh they have a couple of people with uh uh flashlights uh take you guys back to uh the um actually these guys are have all maxed out they they want to take you uh southwest to the trees and in there glenn nope yeah, they they're like it's shorter. I know the way, but it's it's shorter. You can nope. literally it it's nope. less than half the. Oh, nope. I sprint the other direction. <laughs> All right, <laughs> everybody trudges through the town and stuff to take you back to the bed and breakfast. They've all maxed out their fucking space-time distortion. They're like, I don't see the problem. Glenn's like, I'm crazy now, and runs off. So you guys, uh, at the bed and breakfast, it's a little bit like the smell of old mothballs and stuff, but other than that, it's it's very clean. It's like the apparently this lady has nothing better to do with her time than clean, or shit keeps getting reset every day. You're really hoping it's a reset. But yeah, you guys uh, have a very comfortable stay. And in the morning, do you know what you have? Uh, uh, Alex, I'll give you a card if you can remember what you have for breakfast here. Because it's always the same. <laughs> no, they don't. Well, actually, you've discovered that where they have a bar. But yeah, for everybody well, else. The ball, I? Ah, I right. Okay, for sane people who aren't chronic alcoholics, the breakfast is uh, eggs, bacon, toast, juice, coffee, glass of milk. Um, and you're told that tonight is meatloaf night. Friday. Mm. Fried or er, eggs. You can have them fried if you want. No, I said because it's Friday. Yeah. Meatloaf night. Meatloaf night is Friday. Every night. That's right. <laughs> every, every Friday is meatloaf night. Huzzah. Yeah. Glenn, this is pretty much your breakfast at the house. Yeah, it's perfect. It's kind of scary how it's exactly the same breakfast in both places and shit. You're like, <laughs> do, 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 do. It's almost a sandy roll, and Glenn's like, hey, no more sanity. Ah. 
So, what type um, of eggs? I'm trying to talk him down. What type of eggs uh, did they make you today? <laughs> so uh, then uh, Alex takes you to. Uh, to the parcel. That's right. You've got a package in. You've got a package in. You've got a package in, says the guy to all three of you. And uh, each of you is given a package from the Ovaltine Corporation. Drink more Ovaltine. Yeah, that is what the code says when you figure it out. But uh, yes, each of you has picked up, please mark it down, five decoder rings. And as Alex said, these are very minor magic items. You don't know what they do because he hasn't told you. But if you ever get the magic item disappears thing, then um, actually, yeah. Do you want to tell them what they do, Alex, or make them beg? Because actually, what they do could be used right now. Or you haven't described the fact that at the moment they haven't been able to tell them that, did you? Tell them what? They can't what, read them. Oh, no, they can. I said uh, that, oh, that's one change. of the weird changes, yes. remember? Yeah, yeah, uh, Logan knows. So what do the code rings do then now if you don't need the... What do they just think? Do they do something else? Uh, uh, good time to experiment. Yeah, one. All right. He puts on his decoder ring, his oval team decoder ring. It's pretty much a, it's, you guys know what they are, right? It's the letter number replacement scheme. A equals one, yes. equals two, no creativity, et cetera. Yeah, that. So, right, you've got it on your finger, Alex. What do you do? They are watching you like you might show them something interesting. All right. <laughs> I, put, I put one on too. Cool. I play around with the dial thing. Right. He plays with the dial. Nothing happens. It appears that whatever it used to do has left his brain, just like the Sandy of Glenn. I think it would be when we were first here, we couldn't make out any words. Go on. Um, like a translator? Yeah. Like things were just didn't make, like you look at a board and then you look at a board like a sign and it just wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't, uh, you know, you wouldn't be able to read any writing on the board, uh, like a, a sign or anything. Mm -hmm. And then I think you split these cards on um, the rings on and then you could read them. Mm -hmm. But things have changed. We don't need the rings anymore to read the stuff. Uh -huh. You might be doing something different now, I don't know. Well, tell me what you'd like. If you'd like to figure out what they do, let me know. Otherwise, I know what they do. So, all good. Okay. Um, hey, you already, you know, I think I think Glenn's getting ready to tell you. Go ahead. Dana, write something in Hebrew. <laughs> Dana, give me a Hebrew roll as I'm surprised you haven't been. Oh, my God. I do not make it. Yikes. It shows, a, it shows a really scary picture of a demon cat. Pretty sure this is Hebrew. Um, no. Okay, I I'll attempt to write something in Hindi. All right. And fumble. No problem. It shows, <laughs> no. It shows a demon dog uh, being attacked <laughs> by a demon cat. I'll write something in Hindi. All right. I'm going to try Korean. And I make it. Woo! Okay. I try to read those things. How would, how do you wish to do it, sir? With my ring. Can you could you be more specific? The keep in mind that the Korean symbols are nothing like the letters used for English. Okay. How um, would you do it specifically? Just tell me what you do. It it has like a dial on it. The ring, yes, yes, it does. A equals one, B equals two, and you can move the pointer around in case oh. you can't figure out which. You know. Yeah, I'll I'll try twisting the dial around. Doesn't do doesn't do shit. Take off the ring and look uh -huh. through it. Yeah, clever. I'll give you a card for looking through it. No, it doesn't right. do shit. Touch it to the wood. There you go. Take uh, it. You touch it to the word, and ah, oh, here. Okay, here's the full deal. You guys can write down. Pretty much, uh, it's a once per day per ring. Oh, no, I'm sorry. One use per day per PC, regardless of the number of rings they lug around. No skill roll required, and you can read a small, you couldn't do a whole book, but you'd get like the page maximum. So, yeah, it's it's one, one per day 
Uh, but doesn't matter how rank how many rings you have. So yeah, there you go. And it's, that's it, translating hmm? languages. Uh, written only written. You have to be able to touch the ring to the thing you want translated. Hmm. So it's not it's not a bad little deal, um, but only you understand it. Really handy for the disappearing. Yes, the 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 other people really like them to to buffer their decent magic items. Do you know? Do you now have ten rings, Matt? Yes, I thought so. Okay, so there you go. Right. Well, Thanks. that's pretty much Burlington in a rush joke because uh, there isn't a lot, but there are. I think this is one of those places that's going to keep just changing, getting weirder. So um, season worse. three, season three. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, they 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 now know where all the interesting shit is, and I'll yeah. tell you for free that the the uh, A and W has gotten much less interesting. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. But we we have a working spell system now, so I'm happy. Um, the the rings there allowed me to figure out the spell system, so I'm delighted. But uh, if you guys are wanting to go visit any of the other shit off of it in the future, you of course can do so if you want. Let's go play pinball. If see if it's still there. Sure. Uh, go ahead and give me uh, dex slash maneuver roll lowers better. Alex keeps back from the machine going. Any, yeah. I made it. Uh, if you only made it, then uh, you get a good game, but not top game. Uh, what do you roll? Uh, maneuver yeah. slash dex slash... Oh, crit. He fucking just yes. owns this machine. And eventually, it's like, you know, he's the big winner and stuff. Credit at half. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would have definitely won him the ring, but they, the ring is not being dispensed anymore. Oh. No. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. But, yeah, you, you crush it. Um, also, there there is an interesting thing. Um, pretty much the there's a quarter there that's on top of the machine, and uh, does anybody have lock picks on them? Yes. Give me a lock picking roll uh, because you had to use the quarter to play the game. Um, I've got a card. Pick one lock. No roll mm. required. Mm. If you'd like to use that instead of getting a check and lock picking, go ahead. Or you no. can try check and lock picking and then use it if you fuck it up. Yeah. Oh, it gives me a check anyway. But... Oh, it does? I just yeah. use the card then fuck it. Yep. Okay, it's picked. Cool. All right. Great. Um, yeah. Uh, pretty much you have a quarter. You don't know what the deal is with the quarter, but uh, it's the only currency you've seen in Burlington. Okay. Hmm. Glenn, it's yes. time to, for you to put in your initials. What are you going to write? On the pinball high score. Um, you know, the Three usual. Initials. Three initials, pick them. P O O. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, Glenn, <laughs> this is your first time with a pinball machine. You are surprisingly <laughs> good at picking initials. Hmm. Cool. Same letters. So, that was your crit, huh? You just could tell. <laughs> I, I'm familiar with letters. <laughs> right. Is there anything else you guys are wanting to do real quick in Burlington? I don't believe so for me. Um, that's pretty much everything I think of importance that's been covered. So mm -hmm. we want to just head back to Clem's finish off in the uh, red carpet area. Yeah. yeah. We are not going to the cyberpunk place. No. Not I today. Can't, I can't imagine why you wouldn't want to keep going you back. Have to drag Alex there. He only goes there now for special things. Mm. He hates the place. <laughs> I think, I think we need to do some good deeds. Nah, you're fine. 
Okay. Well, your sanity's still above twenty something, so it hasn't gotten as low as one of the other characters have. Right. So go back to go to Clems, go back to red uh, red carpet, go back to the house. Sheila's going to want to do her magic casting before going to bed. Okay. Yes. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, good. Give me magic casting before bed. Those of you who still have magic points, if you did it in the morning, they're still um, gone. Logan. We we slept in Burlington, right? Good point. Go on. So I got my magic points back. I'll do a sword trick. I um Yes, Matthew. I I got one. I'm gonna take out my um try again with the skill five. Oh. You hear I got one through my bedroom door. Two handed sword. Alright. I got another one. Okay. It's um being that Alex has had experience before with magic items and the ability to invest a part of your self. Oh, into I see. You're trying to you're trying to sink some uh, uh, essence into it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as of now, no, but in the future, it may okay. change. Okay. Yeah, I it's get you. I get you. you get that feeling when you pick it up. That mm -hmm. it's, it's something that can be done. Yeah, just so, keep keep your stock of Dakota rings high. Yeah. If you can get up to where you have a, a, a Santa bag uh, for extra dimensional storage, then you can just fill it with fucking Dakota rings and be okay. <laughs> oh, I can fill it with Dakota rings in the general pocket. Uh, general pockets, I believe, one item. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to read up on your... It's not so much that. I was more uh, concerned about the thing breaking because uh, yes. it's breakable. Yes. Which well, doesn't really normally go into with normal items. So. Mm. Well, like if you get exploded or something like that, which happens quite often. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's really good to build up with ghost form because if I can get that off before that happens. Well, you have been haunting their people as well as you can. The shit out of them. <laughs> have, you, have you tried haunting them today, though? I'm just checking to see if all the time. You know, uh, do you? Because well, Scott hasn't lost enough Sandy yet, so I wanted I can't, to check. I can't do that many. Okay. Well, I don't know. He's not. He. he how many? How many actual and Sandys uh, does Glenn have now, Scott? None. None. So you haven't gotten to forty yet? No. Oh, you're fine, Jesus. Yeah, until you start <laughs> fucking going after people and saying, I need your skin and shit like that, you're fine. So, um, <laughs> holy shit. Uh, we had one of the one of the girls who was playing got down like under 20 sanity left. I was pretty sure she was going to lose her character at any moment. So anyway, it's going to be one pause mission. Basically, you got a tour. And um, discard any cards you no longer love and refill your hand for trying to suck up some more uh, pause. Can you change your screen back? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, let me put you back over there. It's got a retrieve. If you guys get anything good. I've got a victory, too. Oh, well, that. victory and a full retrieve? That's, that's uh, right there. Limited retrieve. Oh, limited. Okay. I was going to say took myself insane. But I'm now maxed out with phase B. <laughs> okay. That did not take long. I lost. I did not make that sound wrong. Ah. Golf plus 20. <laughs> the, yeah, nice. You guys got to see a little bit more of uh, the world, so that's neat. Yeah. All right. That was creepy, but there weren't open attacks. Yeah. And there was a super cute little puppy man. <laughs> yeah, he is freaky cute. I've got a picture of him somewhere. I just didn't want to spend minutes digging it out because I didn't know exactly where it was. Um, I've got a man has unexpected connections. I'll be acclimatized with the furry kingdom. I do not believe I'm acclimatized with them yet. Nice. Uh, you guys... Have anything else worth limited retrieving? Uh, I have a replenish and a dissemination. Uh, hey, dissemination? We're getting into some serious card play now. Oh, that's like a leadership, right? Uh, uh, the well, yeah, but the replenish is a better one. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So has anyone got a crap card between you two? Oh, he's going to spread out his shit first. Nice. Um, yeah, I have a smell plus 20. 
Okay, I think uh, there you go. So I'll give you the. Um, I'm going to disseminate the card, that card into your hand, so you got to replenish. And then I'm going to refill my hand first. And then, uh, as long as I haven't got anything bad, pick up. Uh, fire, siege engines. I've got another dissemination. Well, mm. I have one too. Oh, okay. Yes. Go team! If you can get a lock it in, Sam, that would be a real outfit. Okay. Did you play the replenish yet? I have not. Do you have things that you would like to ditch? Um. Yeah, I've got a couple of junk cards. But, All right, you won't. You want to hand them over, and I'll use the dissemination. Sure. Uh, I'm going to play. I can drive that tanker. What on the? Uh. What on. It could be a good vehicle. Oh, hold on. I will put it because it's only still under fifty, isn't it? So it, uh, I will put it into um, pilot uh, airship. <laughs> I like, I like that the uh, the campaign's the kind where you've got flying cars, airships, um, scuba diving, uh, uh, riding horses, just pretty much all kind of crazy shit and if you're decent at all that your life is easier okay so uh are we playing the replenishing and picking it up with the limited not, retreat not quite yet um i need to get rid of a card first i have some pretty decent ones. Um, okay. Let's first do the happy pie. Ooh, yeah. She's doing it in so, the correct order as well. I'm digging it. <laughs> Everyone draws one card. Yep. No whammies. The bad guy gets a card too. He's in card play. Hey. Yeah. Um, are there psychic abilities? I have psychic no, abilities only. No, 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 if no, anyone no. has them, I think no, Matt no. would be the guy. <laughs> no, there's no psychic. No. Not yes. All right. I'm ready to do the replenish if that's what others are ready for. Yeah. Here it I drops. The bad guy play. Oh, are you are you snagging it back up? Yeah. Go ahead. The bad guy plays a cram course on himself. Yeah. <laughs> Batman now knows Batmobile. Nice. Yeah, he's out of cards now. Oh, I got a soul survivor. Oh. Uh, oh. Somebody mm -hmm. say they had a negate? No, you're looking for a nope. A negate is a uh, point oh. of fails type count. Oh. Oh. Uh, one moment. I haven't looked at them all. Uh, I'd Wait, not have oh. it, but I do have a God's Despise You. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm the Janala anyway. Did retrieve the Replenish when he discards it. Do you, do you have, because you're the only one with cards still, yeah? Yeah. Scott? yeah. And then. Connect the Replenish. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, okay. Limited oh, Retrieve, sneaky. Replenish, play Replenish. Keeps us in. Let's do it. And everybody refill. Go team. Tactics or strategy, Scott? That's we have arguments tactics. on which is which. <laughs> That's our married life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nerd. Another limited retrieve. I'll go ahead and take the replenish again. Good. Where did it go? Sorry, 
I would keep limited retrieve then right now and know that it well wait you will find the you'll find the replenish eventually there can't yeah. be that many cards I'm out sorry, there you can just keep the limited retrieve <laughs> oh, yeah i have a limited retrieve also Bloody hell. Oh. <laughs> all right let's use one of those for for those watching this is called end of mission card play and it can get pretty wild especially when the people doing the card play don't keep it in one file <laughs> and they kind of spread out Right, and when we're ready again, let's have uh, Sheila take the uh, replenish with her limited retrieve. All right, okay. where is it? Where is it? Again, just we know it's the last one on the last one thrown out, so just right. Just pop, so pop I'm, the... I'm playing it as that limited retrieve, and you pick it up. Okay, so now she's got it, and her limited retrieve is that. Yeah, you oh, guys okay. keep, I follow. You guys gotta keep better track of your cards, my God. <laughs> Pick up your toys. That's right. I'm sure you've had to say that once or twice in your life. They're yeah. like, but they're just where we want them right now. It's perfect. Yeah. And it is Caltrop City. They play a D fours too. <laughs> Between Legos and D4s, I'm not seeing any happy. <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's go ahead and pop that last replenish if anyone's. Yep, I'm ready. ready. Okay. Well, uh, actually, what I would recommend doing is first discard all your junk cards that you're not keeping, yeah, keep. and then she pops it because that way it's on top. top I'm dropping a grapple, so unless if we are purposely going to grab scorpions again. That's fine. No, no, it's over. The session's over for a day, so go ahead and ditch the grapple. <laughs> okay, uh, very good. Keep, keep some scorpion happy going on there, but you guys find right. some weird shit occasionally. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So now Here. she's dropping it. You're drawing the card. Everybody's drawing the cards, and hopefully somebody can get the new happy. Post traumatic stress. Is that the one where you fight, flight, or freak? Yep. Great. Uh, you just go nuts and trash your bedroom because <laughs> like rich people do. You, know, you just fucking absolutely trash it. And Jim goes, I'll fetch a cloth, sir. <laughs> I have yin yang. Oh, Everyone discards all of their cards and refills. Yeah. That. Okay. that 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 uh, limited or the replenish is well and truly buried. Yeah, so. but yin yang is good. You guys discard first. I'll leave the victory on top. Clever. As Alex Kinley is desperately struggling to be the first person to get the one hundred overflow pause. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you guys uh, know that if you get 50 overflow pause, you need to let me know because you get neat, free shit. Hmm. Got numbers to letters. Mm -hmm. Well, that buries your victory, but uh, may yeah. give you other shit. I have a limited I retrieve. It's die. I have no idea why it does it sometimes. Does so oh. the numbers to letters, is that just you, Scott? No, it's everybody. Everyone. And what does that do again? You you redraw your plus percentage yeah. cards? Yeah, cards. discard all your plus percentages and draw to replace them. Yep. Okay, I think uh, for me anyway, I'm done. I've got nothing but a plug and greed. Oh. I've got a greed as well. That's it. I will retrieve one of your greeds. <clears throat> or no, I think that I can't. I have limited retrieve, so uh, that's... that's gotcha. Okay, is that it? 
I think that's it. Yep. All right. Two cards. And I'm discarding <sighs> my vodka. If you yeah. <laughs> Just so you guys know, you went through about 188 cards. <laughs> I finally get my first overflow hero point. Nice. Yeah, how many do you need for overflow? For the for the first level of happiness, you need 50. Yeah. Everything uh, over 20 goes into right. overflow. Okay. Yep. That's the But then if you dump down, then you can feed from that if you need to do like rerolls no. and things. Um, or it's just... Once once you get to 20, then they just automatically get sucked into your overflow and you can they are no longer usable hero points for okay. you. Uh, so 20 is as many hero points as you will ever be able to get. All right. Which should be more than enough to survive on unless somebody gets really reckless and shit. I mean, if Alex Kinley can survive on 20 and shit, and he's done a lot of crazy, stupid shit, and you know, everybody should be okay. Most funny, crazy, not dangerous. Right. Well, I don't know. It's some, can you imagine living real life of what Alex Kinley does? No. Right. Yeah, exactly. We'd all be dead. It's a little bit, a little bit dangerous. Yeah. I don't think we had any skills on that one. Yeah, but for those two, it was especially useful because uh, yeah, they've been opened up to new areas. Uh huh. Oh my goodness, come on, do it. Yes, it does. So Sheila, how are you liking the uh, the new system and stuff? I like it. It's good. I like on how you do not have to memorize multiple books to be able to dive in. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's 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 weird because I've been working on recruiting more players, and they see the character sheet and they lose their minds and freak out. Oh, like, it's so well. complicated, and I'm like, God damn it! So, <laughs> I haven't found a way around that yet. Yeah. Well, it's a bigger character sheet, but that's all the paperwork you need. You don't need a box of other rules. Yeah. Could probably yeah. condense the pages to make it less intimidating, but mm. yeah. Uh, uh, the the only re the only reason that there's so many pages is because the players made those. They were like, "We need a play page for insanity well, and shit," and I'm also, like, "Okay." The amount of writing skills you pick up on here. Uh, I'm, I need another page of writing soon. Well, yeah. True. One oh. page for skills. Okay. Probably don't need two spell sheets in there by default. You can always print out another one and add it. True. Way to be a pessimist, yeah. Scott. Yay. Yeah. Learn all the spells. I, I don't know if uh, one extra sheet of blank page or blank things is what's freaking them out. I think it's the first page or two that's that's setting them up. The I mean, wall. You can ditch the language page and just have those in your right end page. Mm -hmm. no. I don't know. Probably don't need to start out with two sanity sheets. You can always print out another one. Mm -hmm. Well, you have the if you're oh, used to D and D and other multi-volume games. Mm -hmm. And it's it's different reaction. And if you're not usually a gamer at all, then you're just going to have to overcome the I'm not used to gaming reaction. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Looks like we're done for today. Yes, sir. I was just curious on on uh, Sheila's reaction because she hasn't gotten uh, to game uh, with us as much. Uh, Sure. Um, yeah. I 
find it very usable. I can't really see any other way than just, it'll be okay, kids. Difference to, uh, <laughs> to it. <laughs> how, do you, how do you mean? I'm not following you. As far as um, once you just dive in, it's, uh, it's yeah. very simplified, yeah. but just making yeah. people dive is a... Jump in. Yeah. yeah. Personality thing. Yeah. yeah. Just well, make I was... pre-gens. Pardon? Yeah. So just make pre-gens and hand them out. <laughs> eh, I, I could do, but honestly, it's uh, people really get invested when they uh, make character. And plus, I've been trying to convince them, look, you know, because a lot of people are like, how do I min-max? I need to know how to do it because, like, in something – like a level and class base, it's super important to fucking properly min-max it or you're not playing up to your optimal. And I'm like, look, you can reallocate points after the first session. All you're guessing is, will this skill be used enough to justify the number of points I put in it? Or do I want the skill anyway? Like helicopter rarely comes up, but when you need a helicopter pilot, I I do this as a living. Yay! You know. So, yeah. 